models of behavioral decision making the behavioral op- approach towards decision making emphasize the role of and importance of human behavior in the process of decision making unlike the rational approach toward decision making which emphasizes on the use of logic and complete rationality in making decisions the behavioral approach emphasizes that decision makers are prone to varying degree of rationality while making decisions and that one cannot be completely rational at all times according to the behavioral approach there is a scope for an element of subjectivity to creep in during the process of decision making the level of rationality in decision forms the basis for various models of behavioral decision making the different models of behavioral decision making according to the degree of rationality are the economic rationality model this is the most rational approach simons bounded rationality model the judgmental heuristic and biases model and the social model the least rational approach the economic rationality model the basic assumption of the economic rationality model is that the decision maker is perfectly rational while making a decision this model has emerged out of the classical model of economics it also assumes that the decision maker establishes a link between the means and ends rationally is fully aware about the available alternatives has a consistent set of alternatives to guide him or her in decision making and that there are n numbers of permutation and combinations possible to arrive at the best alternative it is assumed that organizational profitability can be maximized as a perfect environment for making decisions is provided by the economic rationality model however this model seeks an analytical justification for all decisions and does not give the importance to human behavior new rational technique like activity based costing abc economic value added eva and market value added mva are bringing in changes in the accounting and financial techniques being applied in the organizations ABC takes into consideration the various tasks of employees to determine cost. EVA is a modern approach for, to finance according to which a decision is rational if the earnings are higher than the cost of capital. Quote, MVA helps in estimating the market value of a firm. The sum of MVA and the invested capital gives the total market value of the firm. Simon's bounded rationality model This model of decision making takes into consideration the human behavior in the decision making process and also has a reality realistic and relatively approach The assumptions of Simon's bounded rationality model are decision makers consider decision which are not fully rational that is less than ideal thus decision maker attempt to satisfy with a less than ideal alternatives the decision makers are content with a simple understanding and perception of the problem rather than trying to fully analyze the situation the decision makers choose from among the alternative based on simple rules of thumb or tricks of trade or past experience these techniques do not trigger the creative abilities of the people involved in the decision making process <laughs> thus model can be beneficial for decision making in organizations which do not have fixed objectives and no information about alternatives however it ignores the personal bias of decision makers in decision making
judgmental heuristic and biases model Kahneman and Tversky proposed the judgmental and biases model for decision making with a behavioral approach This model identifies the cognitive biases of the decision maker and is considered as an improvised model of the bounded rationality model This model assumes that managers develop heuristic or thumb rules on which to base their decision as they gain experience. These heuristics help managers to overcome pressure and constraints of time. However, they also lead to biased decision. This model identifies three major biases namely the availability heuristic, the representative heuristic and the anchoring and adjustment heuristic that led to a relatively irrational decision making process. the availability heuristic according to the model events which are emotional and vivid in nature are easily imagined and are easily available or recalled from memory the decision maker is influenced by this readily available information for instance it is common for performance appraisals to be affected by recent or unusual behavior either may be positive or negative on the part of appraisal which is instantly recollected by the appraiser this leads to a bias in decision making the representative heuristic the he- this heuristic occurs when the probability of the outcome is predicted by the decision maker based on previous experience this type of bias creeps into decision if the decision maker compares the present situation with a previous happening For example, a price of newly launched product might be fixed high considering the success of an earlier product of the company. The anchoring and the adjustment heuristic. When a decision maker makes a decision by anchoring the process of to an initial value and then goes on adjusting this value to finally come to a conclusion, he is said to resort to anchoring and adjustment heuristic. For example, an employee may be rated as good in the performance appraisal for the current year based on the good based on his good performance in the past 5 years these biases make this model's complex behavioral approach to decision making the social model the social model of behavioral decision making highlights the influence of emotions and feelings on the decision made by people in organization This model has its basis in psychology and suggests that unconscious desires influence human behavior to a large extent. People tend to make irrational decision under social influences. Solomon Ash, a pioneer in social psychology, conducted a conformity experiment to demonstrate the impact of social influence over human behavior and decision making processes. These experiments highlighted how the decision making process has social influences. In the experiments, 7 to 9 individuals were grouped and given the experimenter had a prior agreement with all members of the group except one to give wrong answer for question put to them. The lone member was influenced by other members of the group to give wrong answers. In fact, almost 37% of individuals yielded to group pressure and give answer which they knew were incorrect the social model tries to explain the reasons for erratic decision making by the decision makers barry m stow and jerry ross explain escalation of commitment in their understanding behavior in escalation situations escalations of commitment is the inherent propensity of decision maker to commit resources to a course of action that is certain to fail four reasons are cited for this behavior the first reason was characteristics of the project certain characteristics of the project like delayed return on investment and lack of substantial profitability make managers hesitant to implement the project and force them to take alternative decisions 
even if they think they are not appropriate. These characters tend to escalate their commitment towards wrong or suboptimal decisions. Psychological determinants. The decision makers <coughs> tend to psychologically support the decision they made even if they found to be wrong and tend to ignore all negative information associated with the situation. Social forces. The decision maker desire to be accepted by the group and peer pressure are, so are social forces which may encourage them to reportedly, repeatedly confirm to the wrong decision. Organizational determinants Factors like unfavorable organization structure, dysfunctional politics, resistance to change and lack of communication between different groups of the organization may also encourage the commitment of the decision makers to take wrong decisions. In this way, the social model try to explain how the complexity of human nature has a major role to play in the decision-making process.